What is up you guys, this is Favorite Cutie, Mel Becky Jenna, my soap posh channel, give you guys yet another video and today I'm going to be talking to you guys from the heart as always. If you're new here, make sure to go ahead and subscribe and become a part of the soap posh family and if you are a recurring cutie, thank you so much for tuning in. So today I want to talk about being the change that you seek um, in the world. So I'm currently in a space in my life where I'm expecting more and um, I'm going to be asking more of just myself first and foremost asking more of myself as far as just like being more mindful being more intention based making sure that you know i'm moving with clarity moving that moving with direction and intention and while i'm doing that i want to talk about how that affects the world around you so a lot of times when we want something um and i'm just going to say in general you know sometimes when we want things we think that the best way to go about getting it is to maybe go directly to a person and say hey i want you to do this 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 that and the third or tell them you're not doing this you're not doing that blah blah, blah and start talking about how you can move forward and while these these conversations when done correctly and in a good headspace with um love back behind it can be very effective but another very effective way of leading the way and transforming the world around you is always by starting with self and um being the the woman the man in the mirror that you uh want to see with other people so in my position um as i'm trying to not trying as i am elevating to the next level i ask other people i ask of other people by first asking of myself so when i come to someone and you know i'm expecting a certain level of intention i first have to transform myself and be um very clear on the intentions that i have on the things that i'm doing if i want things to be organized i need to tighten up myself and be more organized if i want people to take initiative i need to step up and take initiative and be that person because it just always comes back to the same principle of you don't get what you want you get what you are so being able to take a step back look at your current circumstances and see like maybe some things that you would like to improve and taking responsibility for your your personal world and your personal footprint and how all of this is unfolding for you is key okay so it's not all, it's not about blaming anyone it's not about getting upset with what someone said to you it's not about getting upset that so and so isn't meeting your standards it's about first addressing yourself and asking okay so this these are my current circumstances this is my current situation how can i change myself in order to encourage and facilitate a change in everyone else around me if you want to be more professional you start showing up being more professional you start showing up doing the things that you know you need to do and then everyone else will follow suit see a lot of communication um verbal communication is one thing but a lot of communication is done vibe wise and just the tone that you set for you know whatever it is that you're doing so this can apply in love like personally i'm ready to be more intentional i'm ready to i've been ready to be more intentional but now i'm just learning as i go what that means to me and that's why you should also be very patient and loving with yourself in these processes it's not a situation where you have to beat yourself up and be like oh man i haven't been on my my stuff lately and you know i kind of fell off the block and i need to do this better da, 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 in a negative way it's more so just taking note like okay at the time um certain behaviors and ways of being were serving me to get me to my current situation but now that I'm here and I'm looking to go even higher, what do I need to do in order to be the next best version of myself to create the next best situation? And just remembering, as I always say, that it's always a process. We're always evolving. We're always getting better. So it's not a race. It's about simply making a choice and deciding who you're going to be today, tomorrow, and um you know setting the tone you are the vibe setter you are the mind you are the freaking main character of your story you are the star of your movie okay so you can't get caught up in a 3d world and seeing what other people are doing and then reacting off of them 
it's always best to come back to self remember your power because in your reality you are the person who sets the tone you're the one who writes the script so if you don't like how people are showing up you need to come back to self and rewrite that script and that's quite frankly what i'm doing what i'm deciding to do i'm setting intentions not only just for things like my regular life of course i want to set intentions to be loving to be loved to you know enjoy myself to be prosperous to be wealthy and all these different things but also i want to start setting like individual intentions for everything so in your work life take time to specifically you know in certain situations decide what is my intention so if you are a leader at any capacity what is my intention for my team what kind of team do i want to have what kind of qualities do are what kind of qualities do i want to see in the people that i'm working with on a day-to-day -day, a week-to-week -week basis okay what kind of environment is it you know paint the picture for yourself because until you can see it clear no one else is going to see it clear and that's what i learned um specifically in this last season of what i've been doing i was so used to doing everything on my own that is more so just like i was focused on myself but as it's time to grow, because you can only do so much, there's only so much energy that I can personally put out. Um, moving forward, it's time, if I'm gonna work with other people, then I need to be clear on what I'm setting here. What is it that I'm creating? You know, instead of just going forward and just letting it be what it is and then being disappointed in this aspect and da 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 and feeling annoyed by this and that and the third. No, I set my intention. Now I'm setting my intention for that. And I'm just like, I'm gonna set my intention for everything else. And you know, it's a process. When I think about what's my intention for my music, it took me a long time. And I feel like I'm still discovering what my intention is with that. Like, you know, but I have been setting my intention. It's about just being as clear as you can be. And as you get closer to reaching that clarity, you will find that even more things become revealed to you. Um, your intentions become even more clear. Your vision becomes crystal. If you're, um, if you're right here, you know, as you continue to go on, it only becomes, it comes to a summit, it comes to a point, it comes to congruence to where at a certain point you will be laser sharp on what it is that you expect, what it is, the kind of people you want to be surrounded with, the kind of people that you want to be in a relationship with, what you accept, what you will not accept, what is okay, what is not okay. You know, and the procedures and um, whatever else is necessary to um, get you to what you need to be doing and to being your best self. So that's pretty much my video for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Please let me know what you thought of these videos down below. If you guys have anything to add, of course, you guys know I love talking to you down in the comments. Make sure to check out my pin comment below. Check out my business. Check out my music channel. Follow me on Instagram. All of that good stuff. And I will see you guys later okay and i'm going to leave you guys with just an example of some intentions so i know that for my intentions going forward i know that the team that i'm creating is what punctual they are passionate about what they're doing they're being their best selves they're showing up and being efficient okay they're being the team member that they wish that they had okay we're being the people that we want in our world okay we're showing up for ourselves and for others in the way that we expect others to show up for us we're taking personal accountability these are the kind of things that you can take into consideration um when you're thinking about certain things even if it's with love relationships and a good example is we are both um we are both um we are both moving in the same direction we both have the same values you know we both uh and you could even list out those values uh we in, in our relationship we value love peace harmony monogamy commitment devotion things like that this is so exciting because i'm literally like trying to think what do i want i can because i need to go through for my personal uh relationships too and do that for my friendships and for like my love interests have to get more intentional on that have to know what i'm creating because i'm ready to go to the next level baby all right i'll see you guys later bye as always stay positive thank you